What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. So, if you guys saw the previous video, you guys would have noticed that I basically did a hard reset on my character while he was still young in his levels. So, basically I used to have him as a melee character and now I'm leaning towards an energy weapons type character, Vats uh, character. Uh, at this point though, whatever my build ends up is pretty much going to be official, so I hope it turns out for the best, but on top of that, uh, since we did have to just restart the whole game, essentially, uh, we didn't get very far, but as far as the quest that we have done, we're basically going to rush through it, and what I mean by that is, not that we're just going to be clicking through, we're still going to be listening to dialogue and stuff like that, so we can at least get immersed a little bit. But what we're not going to be doing is looking through terminals and stuff like that, at least not as extensive as we have done before, up until we get to the point where we were in the previous gameplay, and then at that point we'll progress as normal. So if that's something you guys are interested in, do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video, because it really does help me understand what kind of videos you guys enjoy watching and, and stuff of that, like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. Alright, so in the last video, we actually tried to disarm this bomb, but the problem with that is that we don't have the proper skills, the explosive skills to be able to take to turn off the bomb, so we're pretty much going to have to come back to it at a later time. So right now, we're basically just, hold on, uh, I think we're, for now, we're just going to go to Moriarty's and, yep, speak to Colin Moriarty about my dad and then you know progress a little bit of the story uh to essentially where we were at in the last uh gameplay so it looks like we're here Mori wait this is him actually what are you doing out here colin moriarty always pleased to see a new face but i'm afraid you've had the misfortune to catch me well out of me element i'm the owner and proprietor of moriarty's you see the saloon but please see for yourself Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, <laughs> oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. What is that supposed to mean? You don't even know me, guy. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Sure. <laughs> uh, huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. <laughs> Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Yeah, my dad pretty much told me we were born in Vault 101, dude. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped, oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. <laughs> Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? It sounds like you want to take advantage of me. Uh... Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. I don't have a hundred caps, dude. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. What exactly are you talking about? I don't like certain type of favors. So... We'll see. Sure. 
Uh, sure, anything to get my de uh information. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junkie bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Talk about manipulation 101. Uh... Alright, let's go. And so now we part. First things first, though, I do want to meet this dude over here. My, my. So we can sell him out. <laughs> Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. And makes you a rather valuable individual. Uh... Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map this dude literally sounds like the guy from the dark brotherhood in oblivion probably the same guy to be honest uh go on i'm listening the undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive all it needs is a little <laughs> motivation i have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a Singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid. Handsomely. What do you say? Uh... You know what? Uh... Megaton is under my protection. You're going to leave. Now. Oh. I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well, then. I'll take my leave, as you suggest. Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the Let's same. go tell the sheriff, just in case. Oh, wait. Lucy! I don't recognize you. Well, we're way too New close to her. Or something? <laughs> uh, sure am. Stopped in to uh, find something to do. I hope by something to do, you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking <laughs> for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Uh, sure, why not? Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Um, can you give me some more information about Arafu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where exactly is Arafu, first of all? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Uh, do you suspect your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Uh, who else lives in Arafu? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. <laughs> then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Um, is there any da anything dangerous around there I should know of? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Damn, relax, girl. All right, let's uh, let's let me ask. Let me ask you something else. Okay. Uh, so what's the word around town, anyways? I couldn't tell you really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Who's that? All right, we'll have to go now. Thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yeah, of course. 
Um, this better be apartment. I'm a busy man. All right, where's the sheriff? He should be over here somewhere. Um, he always patrols up and down this place. There he is. He's all the way up there. Good to see you. Mr. Sims, Mr. Sims, I have something to report to you. Do I even have a gun? Yes, I do. Let me put this gun away before he uh, thinks I'm trying to shoot Staying him. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Don't want to have to waste good bullets on your sorry hide. So, I met a man named Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Uh, what if he asked someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Sounds good. Let's get some wasteland justice, baby. He looks so weird bouncing up and down like that. Go going down the stairs. Oh my god, Sims. The thing about Sims is that he's kind of squishy, dude, so he dies pretty easily if you don't uh, intervene and help him out quickly. So we got to make sure we, at the right time we hop in and take out Mr. Burke. You there, Burke. Explain your man. business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone is surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Making a move, huh? Oh God! There we go. That's where he was about to literally shoot him. Woo! He almost shot Mr. Burke. I mean, uh, sher the sheriff. For now, we can take the silenced pistol. We'll take these glasses. Well, we'll take everything. We'll shame him for the kind of person he is. Goodbye, Mr. Burke. You psychotic Were SOB. You just kidding about disarming that thing? Um, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take care of it later, though, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sims. I don't have the skill to do it right now. I should have bought. Try to see if I could buy a. Explosives magazine or something from uh, what's his name uh, Moriarty, but I suppose I can always check with uh, Moira Brown later. Wait, where am I? Well, first I have to go talk to a certain ex-prostitute. Damn! Look at the reload speed on this guy. All right, let's stay away from that little water hole, though. That thing is irradiated, irradiated, as we found out in, well, the last time we were here, basically. All right. We should be in the clear. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's that house right there that we have to go to. So, I mean... All of this is going to be pretty easy because we already know exactly what to expect. I mean, I already know what to expect anyways, uh, generally speaking, because I've played this game before, but it's been years, so... Uh, Who the hell yeah. are you? Where'd you come from? Canada. Did Moriarty send you? Uh, yes. And he said you owe him some caps. That bastard. He's a 
He's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Uh, slow down. Tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob doing, you know, favors for guys. Sexual favors. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning, he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. So, two things really quick. Uh, first things first, that radio is probably going to get me demonetized. So, if you guys can at least do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. Uh, so that, you know, it can pick, get picked up on the uh, YouTube's algorithm and potentially help me grow a little bit. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. But second of all, after everything we heard from Sheriff uh, Sims about how we can't trust Moriarty and how he would take advantage of us and use us, her story seems a lot more probable. So, yeah. So you know what? Uh, look, give me some of your caps and I'll tell him you're gone. You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. There we go. That way, at least I get some caps. And Moriarty gets his little 100 caps so that I can definitely get information about my daddy. Daddy-o. Actually, now that I think about it, we really didn't get very far in the last few videos, man. Because we ended up coming to... Megaton we did this mission and then we went to the next part uh, where we met the Brotherhood and then we did three dogs little mission and then that's pretty much it the rest of it was literally two side quests uh, one of them was for Moira Brown and the other one was for uh, what's his name the little kid from uh, Grey Ditch or whatever it's called with the giant ants we're probably still going to activate both of those quests, if possible, but those are definitely not going to be a priority since we've already done them before. And every eye shall be blind Even though uh, Moira's, uh, Moira's uh, quest gives us perks as well. But it's not really helpful. because Well, at least the first one that we got wasn't very helpful because the one, uh, it... it Heals broken limbs if you're irradiated, but I don't plan to be irradiated that long, you know? Oh, look, it's Jericho again. I love that guy in uh, Fallout Shelter, man. Alright, I got your freaking What's caps, bro. A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgiving place. Uh, I did your stupid favor. Now, can you tell me where my father is? You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? Fine. Uh, fine. Here's your caps. Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Yes, it was. Your dad came through here, all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting. Thanks for the caps. Uh, what was it you said about my father? No, la 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 la. la. All right, we're actually going to go. Tell it to Gob. He'll get you whatever you need. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here then. Gob. Is that a problem? Hey, smooth skin. You need something? Drink, maybe? Anything? I just Anything want to see what you got for sale, bro. God, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not going to hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Damn, this guy literally gets misused and abused. Uh, are you kidding me? Shut the hell up, ghoul. I'll beat you if I feel like no. Hadn't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh, cool, man. I got good karma, too. 
Where'd he come from, anyways? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. Tuh. I'm so that stuck sucks. here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Uh, what's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Um, how about a drink? Anything for you, friend. All right, so this guy literally, uh, well, I mean, I think I w if I have, do I have the money? 174, I have 200 caps. Um, yeah, screw it. Cancel transaction. All right. Well, let, let's double check again. Anything yeah, I didn't buy them. Friend. Uh, accept. There we go. So I only have 26 soon, caps left, you. but I mean, as we found out in the previous little gameplay, we definitely need those damn caps. So let's go over here to Crater Side Supply and talk to good old Moira. Yeah, she's so annoying, isn't she? Junk is my business. Sure. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Crater Side Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I got plenty uh, to say about life in the vault. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Um... Uh, let's see here. Alright. It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting. Well, until my dad left. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before. But none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact... Want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, thank you. Uh, what's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Uh, sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Good enthusiasm. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Uh, getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for anyways? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Uh, yeah, for sure. I'll check the super duper mart out for you. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Yeah, uh, sounds good. Well, let me see, uh, what do you have for sale? Sure thing. All right, um, what am I looking for again? Oh, he's got energy cells. Or she, I should say. Oh, yeah, that's right, and a laser pistol. Um, of course, the rocket launcher. I've always liked the Storm Chaser's hat, to be honest. I always thought it looked pretty good. Um, hold on, let me see. Aid. It should be under aid, right? Nah, she doesn't have anything. 
that sucks. See? It, it, it sucks because I really wish that, uh... I got my eye on my... Shut up, guy. Alright, so we have to go follow in my dad's footsteps, Wasteland Survival Tech Guide, deliver Lucy's message. So this one and this one is what we did last time, Blood Ties and Wasteland Survival Guide. Well, at least the first chapter of the Waste, uh, Wasteland Survival Guide. But, uh, we're probably going to end up going to Galaxy News Radio. But first, I kind of want to go to, like, the medical area and see if we can find a... Like a magazine or something for sale that improves my explosives for a certain amount of time. Wait, what is this? Is this it? Uh, Megaton Clinic. You sick? Injured? Neither, actually. Church and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one: Don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Uh, okay, um, I need to buy medical supplies. Planning on going out and getting shot up, eh? Of course. Okay, so he doesn't have anything either, but his stim packs are expensive. My god, 36 caps? Here, let's see if I can sell him some stuff, though. Um, definitely keeping my BB gun. Pre-war hat. I don't know if I want to sell any of this. Alright, we're good. Screw it. Let's go. Try not to hurt me. Your suffering shall exist no longer. Is there it any other place? The brass lantern? Is that like a food place? <laughs> Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Um... Nah, yeah, we're good. Have a good one, stranger. This just looks like a... Like a food place, pretty much. Let's talk to uh, Mr. Cromwell. Oh, have we here? Could it be... A new addition to our humble little community. Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Uh, tell me about the Church of Atom. Yes, what would you like to know? Well, pretty much everything. Uh, what do you believe? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago, where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation. We see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Well, uh, I mean, I've heard crazier. <laughs> uh, why do you worship the bomb? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Uh, let's talk about something else. As you wish. Um. Confessor, have you ever traveled outside of Megaton? In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice. Yes. 
The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow, and you will understand. Well, I mean... I mean, that's a good... thing to live off of. Basically, everything you need is inside of you already, you know? Uh, so what can you tell me about Megaton? Megaton. Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine, and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the globe. The bomb is us. The bomb is Atom. And thus, we are Atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. Uh, see, that sounds crazy. Uh, so what's the news? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps, so they say. Yeah, I saw, I saw the mercenary. He was kind of rude, actually. Uh, well, I have to go now. Rays shower you, child. Does that mean that the mercenary would give me a quest or something? Hey. Uh, alright, let's go this way. I do want to check out the, uh, crater, or not the crater side, the, uh, Children of Adam church really in a little bit, but I want to see about this mercenary. Kind of suggested that he has something for me. I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh! Oops. I didn't realize it was that high until it was too late. Um. Alright, it's all tagged for stolen. Can I sleep? Damn, I'm, I'm in no shape to leave like this. All right, well, let's go downstairs and see what these guys want to tell me. Oh, it looks like they're about to have church or something. The Confessor is truly the Chosen of Adam. If you say so. Even those who are not dedicated children of Adam may bask in his glow. Um, sure, why not? Hello, child. Have you come to bask in Adam's glow? Eh, kind of. Maya. Hello, sweet child. Hello, I don't believe we've met. I'm Mother Maya, prophet of the atom and embracer of the universal light. Remember, sweet child, that as children of atom, the fabric of the universe itself is ours to weave. So welcome to Megaton, and peace be with you. Uh, so she's the first one that we can actually talk to from the church other than... Confessor Cromwell, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, tell me about the church. I would like to hear from your perspective. Answers, I shall direct you to my husband, Confessor Cromwell. Oh, that's her husband. Uh, I could use some... Uh, nah. So what's the word around town? I'm not one to gossip, but I do know a few things. For instance, did you hear that Lucas wants someone to disarm our bomb? Imagine the blasphemy. I can't believe it. I mean, I don't believe it. He would never do that to us. Damn, I just thought about that. Fuck, dude, I'm a man that really, like, I'm not very religious myself, but I'm very, very, like, pro, like, religion and stuff like that. Well, not necessarily pro religion, but, like, I believe in the freedom to be able to believe what you want to believe. So if I side with Lucas. In disarming the bomb, we're taking these people's right to worship, essentially. But if we side with them, <laughs> potentially putting everybody in this town's life in danger. Oh man, this is a real predicament we have here. Adam's light be with you, sweet child. Oh god, dude, that's a big deal. That's crazy. 
Speak to the confessor or the mother if you wish to know more. Okay, I already spoke to both of them. Small ruined book. Um, are these all? Yeah, they're all scorched books and stuff like that. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, though. This place is pretty stale when it comes to things. Would I get in trouble if I just opened the refrigerator? Doesn't appear so. So I suppose we can look around and make sure that there's... Oh, this one's empty. I don't know why I looked in it. Nuka-Cola. I'm not going to take it. Alright, looks like there's a back door over here. Oh, God. Very easy? I kind of want to. Alright, let's go into sneak mode. Hopefully we don't get in trouble. Looks like we lost karma, too. But I'm very interested to find out. Alright. So we figured it out. Uh, Adam's Nucleus. People often innocently ask me, Confessor, why do you worship the bomb? Like curious children, they come to me with questions about the most visible and perhaps controversial aspect of our faith. The innocent among us hear my sermons before the great symbol. Uh, it says, the see us bathe. It's, you can tell that's a typo. It's, they see us bathe in the waters and they wonder if it is dangerous if it's dangerous, uh, danger we seek, a suicide pact perhaps, and while you may be tempted to answer their curiosity with anger, my gentle children of Adam, you must never do so. The core of Adam's philosophy teaches us peace, that we must educate the curious and work towards alleviating their ignorance. That we must teach them to accept the glory of the division of the past and to seek the glory of the division that is to come. Teach them, my children. Teach them now or how the miserable rotten meat of their bodies will give birth to countless lives at the time of division. Teach them that they should not mourn the world that has passed but praise and celebrate those that have already been divided. Teach them the blessing, the glory, that the peace of our communion and the sacrifice that can be found in our blessed work. Teach them, my children. Teach them well, and in the teaching, find your peace and your place. This is the core of Adam's message to us. Spread, grow, communicate. To uh, go in peace, my precious children. Walk in Adam's glow. Um, okay. Treaties on Adam's second coming. Uh, what is Adam? Adam is light, power. Adam is change. Adam is cleansing that brings order to chaos. Adam is purity. Adam is peace. Adam is hope. Bring about the division. Uh, bringing about the division. I often ask myself if the time is right for the second division. Oh, God. Uh, here in Adam's blessed village, are we truly ready for this coming? Have I properly prepared my people for the moment in which his great altar cracks open and reveals to us his glory? I am but a man. Who am I to bring these people to glory? Who am I to seek to cause the division? Okay. So holy shit, dude. We just learned some serious things by that reading that terminal. Like, first of all, it is, it is very much possible that at any given time, these guys can seek division and bring a well essentially bring upon division to the people of megaton it kind of seems like although right now his heart is in the right place confessor cromwell could potentially at a future time change his perspective on 
the bomb and bring upon division to the people of Megaton. In other words, setting off the bomb is dangerous. It is so good to see you again, dear child. Remember, the Church of the Children of Atom is always here for you. Salvation is attainable. So, um, I want to see if we can confront him. No, we can't. Raise shower you, child. That's... That is scary. What do we need? 25? Yeah, 25. Behold, oh my god, dude. You looking to trade, stranger? All right. Well, uh world map. So this is where Arafu is, Super Duper Mart. Let's go check by the Super Duper Mart and then we'll see what there is to do at that point. We won't actually go into Super Duper Mart. Uh, in this video, but we're essentially just gonna discover it and then see what happens after that. I'm kind of curious to find out what kind of, uh, do I have water? I don't have water. But, um, I kind of want to see what, uh, what kind of random encounters in front of it. I keep hearing, like, a bug or something around here. Or maybe an ant. Which, by the way, the ants in Grey Ditch that we saw a few videos ago. Those freaking things are insane, huh? And another thing, though, it would probably be, uh... Oh, look, Captain Cosmos. I keep hearing things. But it would be probably a good thing to at least stay in that area around, uh... What's it called, uh... The Super Duper Mart, just in case the kid decides to come and give us that quest again. The quest, uh, those. I'm not sure if it was bugged, but... For some reason, I couldn't activate the little things by the Queen Ant. Hopefully, everything's fixed in this playthrough, but who knows. Can I see? Alright, that's the Super Duper Mart right here. Oh, look, we got a bunch of dead cattle. Nothing here. That's empty. Empty. They're all empty. It's freaking, like, scary, dude. It's, it really does feel like you're all alone out here. Alright. Hopefully there's... What the hell is going on? Is someone shooting at me? It's probably the random encounter. Let's see who's over here. Is that a raider? It is a raider. What is he shooting at though? Well, now it's me. Alright, let's go take him out really quick. What's up, raider? Oh, they killed the Enclave ro robot. Oh no. Dude literally almost killed me. I would rather have that rifle though. Alright, let's go ahead and put that rifle on. Even though I only have a little bit of ammo for it. Alright, did we actually discover this place? Oh, is that the kid? All right, good. We uh, discovered it. Hey, you kid. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Oh, uh, those what? What's the matter? Those things. They keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. Uh. Unless you tell me what the problem is, I can't really help you, can I, kid? Those things. It's all their fault. They did this to us. Um, hey, hey, uh, this, I'm probably not going to pass this, but it's going to be okay, I promise. No, those things, they're right behind me. Leave me alone. 
Okay, I'm gonna say this once. Stop your whining. No, you don't care. The grown-ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. Uh, alright. I'm sorry. Calm down. Tell me what's going on. Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Just help me. Promise you'll help me. Yes, of course. I'd like to help, but I need to know more first. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. <laughs> please. Please find my papa. Okay, I'll go look for your father for sure. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. Yeah, for sure. Is there anywhere you can hide while I search? Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it. But I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. Okay. See you later, dude. We definitely need to find a bed, too, though. Alright, so we've discovered Grey Ditch. I'm assuming this is a DLC area. Oh! How do we already have Rivet City map uh, on the map over here? You know, all things considering, this is kind of a decently sized map. Um, You know what I should have done? I should have went to, uh, to Megaton and just rent out a room. I need a bed. Alright, let's just do that. I really need a bed. Who rents out the beds? Is it Moira? It might be Moira. Let's go ahead and check with her. Worst case scenario, I can always sell some things. So, how's the scavenging been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? Uh, I haven't went yet. Oh, well, could you get on that? Thanks. Um, let me see. Oh, actually, this is cool. Uh, have you got a thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Oh, my God. That talk about ignorance. <laughs> uh... Can I ask you about your work and how my research fits into it? Sure thing. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Uh, why can't you do this research yourself? Oh, I haven't got nearly the experience in the wastes that you do. If I tried half of these things, I'd get my head blown off. <laughs> at least you look like you can really handle yourself out there. All I'm good at is coming up with the ideas and fiddling with junk for caravans. Uh, it's really good for you to try to help people like this. I know, right? I figured instead of just helping out the caravans with odd junk, why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? And between my mind and your experience, this guide will save a dozen times more lives than those greedy merchants will. Well, I'm proud to be a part of it. You can count on me. That's the spirit, trusty research assistant. Yeah, uh, alright, let's see, uh, so she could definitely repair items, she doesn't rent a bed though, take it, uh, I can always lockpick that, but I'm not down for that right now, let's see if she has a bed I can use, oh man, I can't, I don't want to use a stim pack though, that's the thing, all right, we are screwed. Who the hell are you? Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I'm quite busy right now. If it's food you're after, talk to Jenny or Leo. Otherwise, I can't help you. Uh, I could use some directions around town. You know, you're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? Um, what a dick. Uh, where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. That's all I want to know. Oh. Talk to you later, Andy. Yeah. No, he doesn't have anything 
yeah, for me. Catch you later. That guy sounds like a dick, kind of. Or maybe he's depressed, I don't know. Let's see if we can rent a bed over at Moriarty's. He said, talk to Nova? That's the prostitute, though, isn't it? Alright, hopefully she doesn't try to get dirty with me. Uh, Nova. Where's Nova? Billy Creel? Hoo-wee! Look at you! Now, I haven't seen one of those vault jumpsuits in, wow, a long time. Pretty damn good condition, too. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. Uh -huh. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that I'd take my hat off for this guy, man. He sounds like a good guy. And plus, he already sounds like a father. Uh, What do you do around here? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. That's crazy, dude. That story was insane. Um, all right, we'll I have to go now. I have Easy, to find man. Nova. Nova, Ew, that's a disgusting bathroom. Nova, where are you at, girl? Uh, that guy's just a settler. Uh, shack door, shack door. All right, so this one I would have to rent. Shack door. Yeah, I have to rent these. Okay. So I gotta find Nova, though. She should be in here, but I don't know where she's at right now. Is that the depressed dude? Yeah, he came over here. Oh, there she is. Talk to me. Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. I take it that's what happened to you? Uh, uh, I mean, I already know where my dad is, but I want to see what she says. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Ooh, I can use the lady killer perk. Look, sweetie, I'd love to spend time with you, but I need to find my dad. Hmm, I'd love to spend time with you, too. Look, uh, I can help you. Get into the back office of this place. Moriarty keeps a terminal there. Everything you want is inside the terminal. Oh, Here's looks... the password to it. Oh. Too bad you're so young, kid. I could teach you some stuff you'd never forget. Looks like we found an alternate way to find out where my dad went. Uh, so what's the story with that ghoul? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Where'd he come from? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Damn, that guy sounds like he really had a hard life. Do you ever, you know, work with him? Oh, God, I gotta know this. With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well... I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. <laughs> but there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. 
gross. Uh, why is Moriarty so hard on him? Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. The gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Yeah, it's fucked up. Uh, let's see, uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Uh... So, what's it take to hire you? This is just out of curiosity. It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what were you saying about the radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Okay. Uh, what's all this about Galaxy News Radio? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. Obviously. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about... Fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. That sounds pretty cool. Alright, how much to uh, rent a room? Well, for you... A hundred and twenty? will run you one hundred and twenty caps. Up front. Uh, actually I don't have a hundred and twenty well, caps. you aren't gonna get very far with no money. Oh, well, so much for uh, renting a room. Alright, let's go ahead and go outside because the radio station is going off. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and put on the armored vault suit. There we go. But all right, guys, that's definitely going to do it for this video. We're definitely pretty much on the one hour mark. We basically, uh, well, wait, hold on really quick. Oh, that's Maggie. Oh, uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we're, <laughs> sorry, I got like distracted for a second. But yeah, we're definitely going to continue on in the next uh, video. In the next video, we're actually going to go over and meet the Brotherhood of Steel over there in Galaxy News Radio. So that's definitely interesting. I always love to see Sarah Lyons, man. She's such a freaking badass, man. I like her a lot. But so like I said, that's going to do it for this one, though. If, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.